Okay, this is Gaia. If you open the Gaia, as you can see, uh, this is a welcome screen that you can uh, begin with all of these categories. For example, if you want to create mountain, landscape, water, hill that you want. They are not different. You can change them in the software. Or you can open the file or listen to file here. For example, we begin with, with the mountain. And as you can see, this is the user interface of the Gaia. As you can see here is our menu. Here is a file name. Most important thing is this. Here you can define the resolution of your scene here. I explain it. Here is a 3D viewport that you can make it a 2D if you want here. 2D. I will be explaining them more. You can change the uh, lighting here. You can change the uh, atmosphere of that. For navigation in Gaia, we come here uh, to preferences. In a navigation, you can orbit with the Alt left mouse button. You can pan with the middle mouse button and zoom. You can scroll in mouse. But I adjusted to inverted. I change it to the inverted. Okay. Holding Alt and click and drag. You can rotate your and you can zoom in or out. Or middle mouse button for panning. Simple. As you can see, this is a gizmo that you can understand in which part is. And as you can see, if you zoom in, we can scroll. Uh, we have a very low resolution that is here. You can, if you have a uh, powerful computer PC, you can make it 2K. Look at when I click to 1K. Calculating. It depends on your PC power. And as you can see, we have more and better detail. Just, this is just for viewing. You can export at any uh, resolution that you want, uh, depend on your license. And that's it. This is a 3D viewport. Here is the most important part of the software. This is a graph editor. And as you can see here, we have a node, it's a node-based procedural creating train. This is a node base. You can enter any node base here. From here, I want to make it a bigger. As you can see, you can make it a bigger or you can bring it in the whole side of the software. You can click it there. You can make it, uh, you can make it expert if you want. <clears throat> it gives you all toolbox that you can, as you can see, you can click and drag, click and drag all nodes here and change them. Nice, that's why we explain them one by one. I prefer make it a full. And as you can see, you can make it here and bring it there. Yeah, these are all nodes that you can insert in your. This is an expert mode. Mm, I think the standard is better. As you can see, it divided <clears throat> any node from mm, primitives, geo primitives, that you can insert all of this here. I prefer it like this, it's better. <clears throat> nice. And the mm, main method for creating the train is this. For example, uh, in a primitives, it creates something for us. For example, Vorono Plus. When you select it, you can see it's created something like this. <clears throat> It's all about creating things for you. But if you click a mountain, it creates a mountain. It doesn't important how many nodes you insert it. The last thing that you selected, it's a final calculation. So it's interesting. You can insert a lot of nodes here. As you can see, the, we have a Vorono. It's a different generator for mountain, but it's not there. When you click on it and activate it, as you can see, we have an interesting neon effect here. So it's there. So if you want to find all, I will explain all the nodes. You can uh, click and drag the nodes here and disconnect it and connect it to this. It's erosion, as you can see, the 
final results for you and you can create an interesting result so we can go to here and make a little you can select it to better see as you can see you have to select it we can create an interesting alien things with that if you select the Voronoi <clears throat> and then select this it shows you the something that you click and you can see everything in graph and simply you can click and drag from here that I have to explain all of them you can <clears throat> combine them you can export any maps high map normal map from your train and if you select the graph on here you can see its properties here and we have a lot of properties here in a build in a build when you want to export something you have to come to the build and here we have a train definition means that you can <clears throat> uh, see the dimensions of this uh, landscape as you can see it's five kilometer and two kilometer height it's very huge and that, that you can click and change the number here for example in a meter or anything that you want so you can click it and <clears throat> you can change the scale if you want you can change the scale make it a smaller bigger or change the height of that you can change it height as you can see it's a very big I will explain more in train definition here but it's the build for building that you have to export the height map anything that you want so this is a graph this is an, and here you can insert a new you can save your file anywhere that you want redo undo or you can add another thing here or auto saving you can see an auto save folder here it tells you please save it be careful about the auto save to mm, store a lots of file there be careful about that you can turn it on or off <clears throat> here you can change the size of the fonts and anything that you want here yeah we can change the font that this font is better that's it let's talk about the nodes and begin with them and then explain all of its settings there and of course here if you select nodes you can see all of other tools here that it's for no uh, for noise for graph editor here and also we have our settings there you can change them that i explain all of them in its order so let's start to bring uh, the basic creator of the train that is primitives hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release